these are all the things that I'll be using for my picnic with my tweenie. I'll be really having some nachos with some guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have an avocado tree outside, we thank the Lord. And so we have a lot of ripe avocados that need to be used. And what best way to use your avocados than make delicious guacamole? And then I'll be making some banana blueberry pancakes these are the bananas they're not that ripe as i'd like them but you know it's fine we're not using it for sweetness that much because we have some syrup that we'll be using um <laughs> it's not maple syrup or anything it's just traditional sugar just traditional diabetes anyway and then those are our pallets of strawberries that we'll be using i'm so excited to try they're really sweet i've already had a few as you can see there's some missing and actually I'm gonna try I'm gonna try this thing that I saw going rival on TikTok where they add them to a bowl with salt and see all the worms come out because I don't trust and then I'll be making half of the punnets with chocolate sauce and this is the chocolate that I'll be using um, really yummy chocolate obviously vegan this is the one that I got from movies and I'll be making it with some coconut milk melt this down with some coconut milk mm -hmm slices of oranges and yeah let me actually do the whole strawberry thing now more just for, for measure oh. and since one of the chocolates are salted almond um you know the salt will help to bring that flavor to laugh. Um, <laughs> I'll also be making some drinks for us. I'll be making a pineapple, papaya, banana and strawberry smoothie with some mint. The mint is in the fridge, I forgot to bring it. And that will be our little picnic. Um, I'm so excited with my so cute, the twinsies and yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this and go and eat for now and see you guys later. I wonder if there are actually gonna be any worms coming out of here. Updates on the strawberries. What the? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Nothing came out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drain them now and I'm gonna put them on a plate so that they can look pretty. And then I'm gonna start with the rest of my preparations for this picnic. And let's go. I'm just transferring them into this bowl because I wanna use this one to melt our chocolate that we'll be using to dip these lovely, lovely strawberries into. And. We have a fallen soldier. We have a fallen soldier. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this over this and let the steam do its thing. And here is our oat flour. Ah! <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> and here is our oat flour. Hooray! That I'll just be spooning into our bowl. Um, I won't be making a lot um, of batter because we have cake as well, you know. And yeah, this is a best way to na na five five tablespoons five tablespoons of our flour. And then I'll be adding in a teaspoon of baking powder some cinnamon, some salt, vanilla essence, a pinch of nutmeg, and then our blueberries. And then I'll be using um, almond milk this time because I don't have soy milk and more bananas that will be mashing up. Update, um, I've made my batter there. I just blended the, the banana and the almond milk together in the blender so that it, it could give me a smoother consistency because I just didn't want chunks of banana in there. And now I'm just going to add blueberries to our pancake. Look how cute that is. Look at that golden color. I can't find our spatula. So I'm just using this to flip our, our pancakes. Look how beautifully golden that looks. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna be making my our smoothie. See, this is where I was blending the banana and milk together. And for our smoothie, we'll be using some pineapple, some papaya, not a lot. Our mint here that we'll be using as well. This is so hard doing this with one hand. Anyway, it's starting to wilt. <laughs> People are not using it because also it was at the back of the fridge, so I'm gonna bring it to the forefront like they do at supermarkets when they want things to go and they put them right in your face. As you can see, I've made my chocolate sauce that I'll be dipping our strawberries in. What I did was I added some chocolate, but I didn't have all of it. And then I added some cocoa powder to intensify the flavor. Some sugar, some flour to make it thicker, and coconut milk. And then I just whisked it and tasted it as I went. See if I needed to add more sweetness or, you know. I could have just made the sauce from scratch by myself, but I wanted that to be <laughs> somewhat authentic in case something went wrong. And then I just made planned pancakes. These ones are plain. And um, if, for example, I want to have a pancake that is not blueberry, then I can add that chocolate sauce to it because I know it will be a lot less over. So yeah, I'm just gonna plate and see you when I'm done with everything. Oh, and I also made my strawberry, my strawberry maybe. So you can see pink and pretty. Oh, look at it. Aww. For the bowl. We'll be making our guacamole. Like I said, we have an avocado tree outside, and our avocados are really ripe. Just to see how soft that is. So I'll be using some um, avocado to make my guacamole. I'll be using some avo, some lemon, and the spices that I'll be using are the garlic and herb and the green onion spices. This helps to get the juice out of the lemon because these lemons are quite tough. I don't know why. Picked too soon. I don't know how it works, but anyway. Okay, let's do this again. barbecue nachos these are really yummy really really yummy gluten free no msg high in fiber 30 percent less fat and vegan obviously i was gonna get the the avo and lime flavor but then something told me in my spirit my gut you know to check the ingredients because those kind of flavors usually have milk in them and then i checked and it said milk And those are the cups for the drinks that I should actually just pour now. It has, they each have three ice cubes so that it's fair. <laughs> and then I'll be pouring some. And this is the aftermath of all that I was doing in the kitchen. Those are the blueberry pancakes and the chocolate coated strawberries, chocolate sauce, 
the slices of cake, guacamole and mince with pickles, our nachos, oranges and grapes, chocolate and drinks, pillows for comfort and a laptop for entertainment. Um, not that we need it, I think. Um, no. Orange is nice. Orange and orange. No grapes. Okay. Yeah, these, these oranges look like they were cut from me. I think we pretty much can entertain ourselves, but there's no harm, you know? Um, yeah, I really hope she likes it. I'm just gonna wait for her to come. She hasn't come yet. So I don't know what she. Bukhasi! Can you please go call Bukhasi? Anyway, um. Yeah, thank you for watching. I will tell you how this goes. I'll also take some pictures, you'll see. And yeah. Ah, see. I don't know what, what, what's on the menu. I know it is weird, but I'm going to point with my foot. My bra is making this t-shirt too big. Oh, you look so pretty. The sun is hitting your face so nicely. Pose. <laughs> Pose. Aww, cozy. Happy, Maria. happy belated. Anyway, those are chocolate coated strawberries and and blueberry pancakes. Mm -hmm. Those are nachos and guacamole and mints and pickles. And those are oranges and grapes, obviously. And those are slices of cake. And those are strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> Virgin strawberry daiquiris with a twist. Thank you. <laughs> they are nice. Mm -hmm. Why are you crushing our party? You? This is for twins only. It's not your party. <laughs> it is our party. <laughs> it's Bukhosi's party. Yeah, that I planned for her. That you planned. Yes. Yeah, for Bukhosi. Why, why are you crushing Bukhosi's party? Bukhosi, do you mind? Those grapes like peanuts. Double coil. Material, so soft. Oh, hello, Mr. Bicep. You've been working out? Oh. Oh.